Training week moves fast in West Hartford. So we're going to try to really keep it moving today. Canine teams assemble. Some of the top dogs around the region are here. Yeah, we got dogs from four different states right now. New York, Connecticut, Rhode Island, Massachusetts. Let them work up that odor a little bit. Trainers from Georgia, North Carolina, Tennessee, Connecticut. They've come to Connecticut to learn from East Hartford Sergeant Todd Mona and his team. So we have a stairwell that we got to clear. It's going to be a descending search. Todd runs Capital Region Canine Training. You're not really trying to change what they're doing. You're just trying to make them better at what they're doing. Back them up a little bit. There you go. So the name of the seminar is Power and Control. We want the dogs to work at their ma maximum genetic potential, but also be highly controllable. There are 24 teams here from all across the region, and it's a three-day course ending in West Hartford. Every few hours, teams practice a different discipline. You're basically seeing a high-risk building search. Uh, you have a, an entry team, SWAT team, and what we're doing is we're clearing stair stairwells and we're navigating through no lights, dark hallways, multiple rooms, while the dog works ahead and pushes ahead and has to search for the human odor for not one but two hidden suspects. Trainer Justin Rigney is here from Knoxville, Tennessee. Being at this 30 years, the, the world has evolved. So when there's mad chaos going around, whether it's a, a crime scene with all kinds of people yelling and screaming, we want to be able to tell the dog, that's the guy, stay focused on him no matter what's going around, and then the other guys are doing the tactical portion of it. And what helps to lead the pack? Go, 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 go into the bite. They say it's education and innovation. I travel around the country training and learning still too. I think a good trainer's always still trying to learn. So we want to empower them with the tools, techniques, and knowledge to win, to survive, to come home to their family. In West Hartford. Definitely see that you guys were getting it and growing. Jim Altman, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.